Oh, Chloe. We present to you a Rome production. So in the news today, Miss Chloe is being, uh, I don't know, slandered by a lot of black women. Um, I guess a lot of white people too, as well. I guess a lot of white women, um, due to the fact that they're saying that she is doing too much for her age. Now here's the thing, right? And I'm going to correlate this to two different people, Miley Cyrus and Ari Lennox. Now some of y'all might be like, these three people do not share any type of relation. Actually, they do. Except that Miley Cyrus and Chloe, they were both Disney stars or involved with Disney, so on and so forth. Anyways, what you have with Ari Lennox, last year Ari Lennox was um, going through a breakdown, right? She had a, a, a whole breakdown on her live stream because somebody said that she looked like a what Riler and they were just making fun of her facial features. She was going on live stream and talking about how, you know, uh, well, black women were always being, um, you know, slandered and, uh, and neglected and disrespected. And, you know, meanwhile, Tiana Taylor, who was also talked about by this gay black man, she just shoved it off. You know what I'm saying? Just, just shook it off her shoulders like, okay. You know, and for, Ari Lennox to give this man uh, or this male this type of platform to give him so much attention because he had a little comment about you just shows that at that particular time I don't know how she is now maybe she's better now but back then at that time she was not ready for the spotlight she kind of showed that she was not ready when push comes to shove when the intensity strikes when your your name is being talked about in the media. You know what I'm saying? The same thing here that I'm seeing with Chloe. Chloe is, you know, out here, you know, having more confidence, having a more uh appearance or composure in which she is showing her off uh she's showing herself off more sexually, more seducive. You know what I'm saying? And I love it. You know what I'm saying? I was actually going to shout her out or I was going to post her not too long ago, I posted her busted challenge last week on my story. So like, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the energy that she's bringing. She's she's trying to grow out of that Disney, you know, character that people are still associating her with, and that's what Miley Cyrus had to do, you know. And and people people talked about her from left to right. Miley Cyrus, you know, when she was naked on the wrecking ball, and and, and you know all this other type of stuff. And, you know, people trying to say she created twerking that saved that for another time, for another day. Molly Cyrus did not care. She did not give two Fs about what people had to say concerning her platform and, and her rebranding herself. However, Chloe here is a bit sentimental here and uh, she took it to heart. But it's like now I really love who I am. And... I don't post what I post for validation from anybody or even male attention. It's just me. And a lot of people who know, like, who's on my, like, private Instagram, they see, like, I'm just, that's how I find my confidence. Because it has taken me a lot to appreciate myself and my body. There's been so many times where I felt I wasn't pretty enough, where I just, I have a lot of issues with my weight. So it's really... It's a pivotal time for me. I'm just now learning at like 22, almost 23, that it's okay to be all that you are and to stand in that power. Because a lot of people were saying that, oh, we used to look up to you. You know, you used to be such a great inspiration. You know, now you're over here showing your boot. You're showing your ass off. And now you're over here thinking you somebody, you know. <laughs> and mind you, when Molly Cyrus was doing this, she was around my age. Chloe, she, she's around my age too as well, 21, 22, 23, you know what I'm saying? And when you're trying to grow out of that character, you're trying to create a, same thing with Naomi. Naomi was somebody you could consider being in that, that children spot, like I don't know if she was Nickelodeon or Disney, but she was with Fifth Harmony. She grew out of that character and she became who she is now, you know? And 
when you're dealing with trying to rebrand yourself and create a character for yourself you cannot care what anybody has to say and when you're on a particular platform especially like yours to where everybody has eyes on you you can't back down you know what I'm saying I'm not saying that you can't be sentimental I'm not saying that you can't show emotion but I'm just saying that when you show the world that you're not ready for the spotlight when push comes to shove you back away you take a couple of more steps back it, it shows that you're not ready to take that next step you know what I'm saying and I'm just being real I'm not trying to be uh, judgmental of Chloe because I still love Chloe I still love her platform and everything that she does and what she will continue to do so on and so forth but it's the same thing with Ari Lennox you know like you can't be over here saying you know all this that in the third you break down or it gets to you or you take it to heart when somebody talks about you when you want to rebrand yourself or you want to create a new character for yourself or a new persona for yourself here's the thing own up to it you know what I'm saying these people do not deserve an explanation that's what I'm saying these people do not deserve an explanation for what you do on your platform on your page with your body you know what I'm saying that's the same thing that Molly Cyrus that's how she carried herself she continued to do what she she didn't give people an explanation she didn't try to break it down for people you know what I'm saying it's beyond me you know what I'm saying own up to it Chloe own up to it you know I'm not saying that she's backing away you know but just judging what people are saying from the video these people do not deserve an expert you don't even know these people <laughs> you don't even know these people these people are just watching these people just talk they're all talk these people do not deserve an explanation do not give them validation <laughs> These people do not deserve an explanation. Do not give them validation. These people do not even know your life and who you are and what you do and how you do it. You know what I'm saying? People don't deserve to know why you're acting the way you are. You are. There's no. You know what I'm saying? What's understood does not need to be explained. It is what it is. But that, that's all I have to say concerning this, this topic at hand. Um, I still support Chloe, um, not so much her sister all the way. Uh, I still love Haley though, still love Haley. But um, you know, just, just when it concerns the media, the media will talk about you, all right? The media will continue to talk about you. And now that you're crying on a live stream because of people talking about you, that to me, that doesn't look good. That, that's not a good look because if you're getting mad about what people are saying because of what you're doing on social media you know when you want to take that next step you know what's, what's it going to be then you know what I'm saying because people are still going to be talking you know but this might be a new lesson for her this might be a, the next step for her in which she's going to take that next step she's going to be better be stronger and she won't let this get her down We'll see what happens. But until next time, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you agree with what I had to say, if you didn't agree with what I had to say, if you want to add on more to what I had to say concerning this topic, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tyrone. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out.